On police body cam, you will hear Rose Valentino, a member of the Cincinnati Police Department, according to The Independent. Officer Valentino pulled into the precinct when a group of cars lining up at the nearby Western Hills University High School blocked her way. She puts her siren on to signal she wants to get through. Allegedly, a black teen walked by and gave her the bird. This was her response. You gotta move. Ridiculous. Is she gonna just sit there? Of course, in light of this officer's conduct, the spin has been put on. However, the racism she showed by using racial slurs shows her character. Here's a visual of the officer who is now facing discipline, not, you know, the relieving of her duties within the Cincinnati Police Department. Local outlet WLWT wrote, Veteran Officer Rose Valentina was caught in traffic near a school when she turned on her blue lights that activated her body camera. The video shows that she appears to be agitated and starts swearing. God, I hate this effing world, Valentino said. Then she's heard saying, effing N-words, I effing hate them. She uses the N-word, but then she goes on to say, I hate them. And all this stuff, you know, that is concerning because that says there is a deep Rooted, implicit bias, said Cecil Thomas. Thomas is an Ohio State Senator, a former Cincy officer, councilman, and was head of the Law and Safety Committee. She is definitely a liability, Thomas said. When you have someone like that, the biggest issue is, is she going to cost the city at some point? She said effing N-word, but then she said, I effing hate them, I effing hate them, said NAACP President Joe Mallory. When you have that kind of feeling towards someone who doesn't look like you, how can we trust you to police on these streets with a gun? In Georgia, home security cameras and audio uncover law enforcement using racial slurs. Then, one member of law enforcement tosses a security camera into the bushes. Luckily, there was another overhead. Despicable, yet again, unsurprising when it comes to police misconduct. WSB-TV wrote the grand total has come to six West Point police officers being placed on administrative leave in the wake of the video. The home security camera was taken off of its original placing and thrown in the bushes, likely in my opinion, because of what these officers said, and yet they still got caught. The outlet names the offenders, officers Donald Bramblett, Dylan Harmon, Zachary Habor, Sergeant William Osteen, and Detective Elizabeth Wegienka are all on administrative leave over the incident. Tamisha Madden, who lives in that home, says she and her teenage son no longer feel comfortable living in West Point now that they have heard what an officer said outside of their house. She says she is already looking for a new city to live in. All right, now here's the messed up part about all this. Folks are minding their damn business. 
They're in their home and you have police doing this. And let, let's just count it. They commit destruction of property. They hurl racial slurs. And here's the other thing. Knowing how strong the police unions are in this country, especially when, you know, the, the PBA in New York, the president goes out there, a leader of the union says, for the first time ever, we're going to throw our support behind Donald Trump. It's like, the guy who said, when you throw him in the car, rough him up. Don't be nice. It's a shame. And now these people are fearing for their lives. And they're saying they may be forced to relocate when they did nothing wrong. Doesn't make sense. Quite frankly, it's just in our community. And as a, I know people get tired of hearing me say it, but we are scared as black people in America. But yeah, let's get mad at him. Like he's not preaching. People of color have been targeted by police. Oh, and yep, chastise him as well. Even if his message continues to ring true because it is. Madden said, she hears the officer say, all these effing N-words have cameras in their neighborhood. Then the doorbell video shows what appears to be that officer throwing the camera into the bushes. Madden and her attorney believe he was trying to conceal evidence.